You're watching Camilla Ali TV. So this is what my sea moss looks like right now. I um the picture I showed before was it in this dry state. And then this is what it looks like after I let it soak, but I'm gonna let this soak overnight. Um, I'm just gonna, you just wanna kinda like, you know, swish it around and get all that gook out of it, sand and all the dirty particles. See, as you can see the water, look at the color of the water. It has a funny smell to it. That's what it looks like, all right? That's the sea moss. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm going to swish, and then I'm going to put, this is actually two ounces of sea moss. Um, this is my first time making it. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to I'm going to put some apple cider vinegar in it. And this will help the cleansing process. A little bit more. And then I'm going to let this sit overnight. And then when I'm done, I'll rinse it. Um, I'll rinse it again with some clean water, not tap water, distilled or spring water would be best. And, um, yeah, and then we'll blend this stuff up. So I'm gonna let it soak overnight in my apple cider vinegar. And I think I might throw some lemon juice in there, uh, but the apple cider vinegar is good enough. It will help, you know, get some of the dirt off, get it nice and clean. So after soaking for 24 hours, I rinsed it really good and got all the little particles off of it. Um, and now I'm going to just put it in my Nutribullet. What I did was I kind of separated the moss and kind of like pulled it apart. Um, because it's better to kind of like separate it. So I separated the moss and I put it in my Nutribullet. I would suggest that you use a blender if you have one. I didn't have a blender, so I'm using my Nutribullet to blend. Um, you just want to add, after you add it, you just want to add some water to the Nutribullet. And then you want to start blending that. So I just added a little water at a time until I got the right consistency that I wanted. Um, so yeah. like there's um chunky like this this is like kind of like an applesauce but i wanted mine a little bit thinner so i'm going to add a little bit more water because i really didn't like the consistency here um so i'm just going to add a little bit more water to it to kind of smooth it out a little bit more So this is the, the consistency now with adding the more water. I like it, it's smoother. Um, and it's more like creamier. But what's gonna happen is once you put it in the refrigerator, it will turn into like a jelly. And um, I'll show you guys that after I fill my jars up. So I'm using four ounce jars because that's all I had in the house. So. Um, out of the two ounces, I got four four ounce jars. So it's a total of 16 
ounces for two ounces of sea moss. Um, I guess it could have stretched out more if you add more water to it, but I like the consistency the way it was, so that's what I stuck with. Um, this is what it looks like after it was refrigerated. You can see it has a jelly texture. Um, so it's all ready to go. This is my first time making sea moss, so I think I did an awesome job for my first time around. Um, so many added benefits to eating sea moss, and I will leave all those links down below. Bye.